Hello everyone. It's the middle of October. October 17th to be exact. Heading up to the cabin. Haven't been there for quite some time actually. Uh, was busy doing things around the house in town and stuff so I uh, haven't made it up here in a while. So heading up just for a couple days on this trip. I need to get out in the woods and put a couple of trail cameras out by some deer stands and do a couple of projects around the cabin. And then I have something new to show you which I will wait until I get to the cabin uh, to film that. But uh, some exciting changes at the Living North family and cabin so hopefully you'll enjoy that a little bit too so we'll just keep heading up so just made it to the cabin and uh, everything looks good so far I said I had something new to show you so here's the newest addition to the Living North family this is a 10 week old purebred female yellow lab uh, that I picked up here oh what no three weeks ago so this is her first trip here to the cabin so far she's been a good dog uh, she's a little more mellow which is what I was looking for um, not to say that's always the case yesterday I had one of those days where it was kinda oh man what did I get myself into uh, days, but today she's been uh, a lot more uh, calm and and listens a little better. So anyway, I'm sure you'll be seeing more and more videos of Kira here at the Living North cabin when we make some trips up here. The swans are there. They came across the lake. Man, they sure are pretty on the water. I think they were, well, there have been swans up here pretty much the whole season. I saw some in the spring and that, and in the area, so they seem to find their way in this area and stick around, I think, most of the spring, summer, and fall. I don't think it'll be too long before lake starts freezing up and and uh, these guys will start heading further south. Good morning everybody. Uh, it's Friday, October 18th. Got up about 5... 30 this morning with the dog. She was in the crate from about a little after 9 to 5.30 so she's doing quite well at making it through the night. Gonna take a little trip out in the woods here after a while. Set this up in one of the spots. See if we got any deer coming by our spots. It's about three weeks now before hunting season, so time to get out there and see what's happening. Well, I'm heading out into the woods to set up this first trail camera. Wind's starting to pick up. 
a little but uh, so far a nice morning I guess it's supposed to be a little bit warm and windy so we'll uh, head back here and see what we can find well that's always good sign that there's been some deer in the area always trying to figure out about what height the deer is going to be at when they come through. Some years I've gotten just perfect, other years I've been a little bit too high, so I tend to Try and put it a little bit lower now. And hope we're in the ballpark. So there's some water here by these boulders and where this tree fell. Um, in that low line area. This is the trail that I go in on. Um, so we'll see what it's like here. This is a big Labrador tea swamp and I've seen a lot of deer come through here but some years it depends you know how much water is in here if they use a swamp or if they stay along the edges but uh, Let's go across here. I got my muck boots on, so hopefully I won't get too wet. If there's water there, which I suspect there will be some. So everything looks good here at the stand. Um, there's still some leaves on brush. One of the things I need to try and do here at some point is this buckle here is so tight I mean obviously it's nice it's holding the stand but I need to try and get that open if I can just to remove a little bit of tension off from these straps and then tighten it back but I need a couple tools so if I come back today or tomorrow morning maybe I'll try and do that as well I hate to mess too much, but at some point it's either going to snap, although these straps are quite strong, but uh, it'd be nice to take a little tension off and do that each year or something, every couple of years. This is a direction here that I see a lot of deer, they come off that back hill down in the swamp or else they come through the swamp in that northern northwest direction or come off there's a trail in there that comes that direction so I see them down in the swamp I walked across or mostly on this other side I'm showing you but they've been all over in here, so I usually put my trail camera down. There's a good spot, and every year there's a buck scrape there. So when I get back out here, that's where I'll put the camera again in that spot. So there's the trail camera that I set up, so it's probably taking a picture of me right now if it's all adjusted and working properly. So hopefully I'll get here before season and can check and see if anything's used in this area. Um, there's just a couple things I need to cut out. Some limbs on a blowdown that I have to step over. So I'll do that on my way out and head back to the truck. 
So yesterday I took the Honda brush trimmer and went through here, knocked down quite a bit of stuff by the old outhouse here. I didn't go much beyond that. Uh, and then up to this uh, balsam that blew down that we need to trim up and that'll be oh fireplace outside fireplace and maybe a little bit of sauna wood uh, stuff like that just casual wood to, to burn so there's Kira with a piece of birch bark whenever she's out here it's either a branch a twig a chunk of wood a piece of birch bark uh, just doesn't seem to want to uh, do anything but choo choo choo. So anyway, I uh, trimmed all the way down to that balsam and that. There's some spots by that big old white pine beyond there. I, th I think the brush is thick enough that I have to use the chainsaw. To, uh, to clear that out but I went along the hillside here got the brush knocked down saved the uh, white pine or red pine seedlings but any of the balsam and that uh, pretty much got cut out I think I mentioned in one of the earlier videos that uh, what I'm going to do is pretty much take down all the balsam that are close enough to either come on a building or um, a vehicle or shed or anything because the spruce budworm is just clobbering all these things so they'll die off and then become a blowdown hazard or a fire hazard or both so I think it just makes sense to to take them down although you know they do provide some shade in the summer and stuff but I guess it's better to look at safety than a little bit of shade so The only downside of yesterday's trimming is I lost the gas cap off the trimmer when I refilled it. I must not have had it on there tight and it worked its way out and I went all through the area looking for it but did not find it so I'll have to get a new one of those in town. I pulled down the buckets out of the shed, the water traps for mice and I will um, get those set up before we go in the cabin and I did trap two mice with the regular trap while I was up here but uh, that was it so we'll set these up and uh, see if uh, we can get any more over the course of the next couple three weeks <laughs> 